Once upon a time, there was a kid named Joshua Amon Barry Daniels. Yes, one of my middle names is Barry, as in strawberry, blueberry, and even boysenberry. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know, super funny, right? I grace the world with my amazing presence. You could honestly say I was a gift sent from God himself, and in saying that, you'd be correct. Let's fast forward to third grade, where I was most definitely in my prime. I attended Pointer Ridge Elementary School in PG County, and not only was I smart, handsome, funny, handsome, well-rounded, handsome, and super talented, but I was also hashtag blessed with an amazing ability. You get an A on your project. Did you just have a vision? I found out I was pretty much psychic. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. So remember that weird game in elementary school kids used to play where they would slap your hands, tickle your fingers, pinch them, and then tell you to think of a number between one and five? And then somehow your brain would magically make that number appear on your finger. Now that was clearly BS, right? Wrong. Like you're seriously wrong. Because I kid you not, every time I participated, I would guess the correct number. Literally every time. Now I know what you're thinking. But Josh, that makes you no sense. How does a silly children's game prove that you're psychic? Or maybe you're thinking, What are you talking about? I've never heard of that game. Are you okay? Well, please punch yourself in the face so I don't have to. One, if I wasn't psychic, how could I even know that you were thinking that? Can you answer me that? And two, if I want to believe that I can read people's minds or even move things without even touching them, who are you to tell me that I'm wrong? I mean, why spoil someone else's fun just because you might not be having any? The most important thing my parents taught me when I was growing up was if you're happy and smiling, then that's all that really matters. You should surround yourself with people that will love and support you no matter what you do. Unless you like kill someone, because obviously that's pretty messed up. In high school, I was lucky enough to find people that did just that. Christian, Patrick, Katie, Ben, Serge, Jenna, Melissa, Delaney, and Katie Yule were my best friends. And I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to help allow me to be myself. They've been putting up with me for three years now. And in all honesty, let's say I did happen to kill someone. Not that I would, because as I said, that'd be really messed up. They are the type of friends that would help me hide the body. And really, what more could you ask for in a person? So if I want to believe I can fly, you better believe I'm going to tell people I can fly. If I think I can dunk a basketball, then sure as hell I'm going to dunk a basketball. The only thing stopping me from doing whatever I want are other people. And the only thing that will keep me going is my imagination and the belief that I can do anything that I put my mind to. I mean, if people would just stop putting others down and focus on their own happiness, the world would be a much happier place. After all, we're all in this together, right? Once we know that we are, we're all stars, and we see that, we're all in this together. And it really shows when we stand hand in hand and make our dreams come true. And that's what I've realized. Love, The Breakfast Club. I mean, Josh, Joshua, Joshua Daniels. But Josh, that makes no sense. How does it? Ch <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the whole table, just the chair. <laughs> just the chair. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <Ew>. All right. <laughs>